Following Facebook's renaming as Meta, the phrase Metaverse gained new attraction, although no one knew what it meant. There has been a lot of speculation throughout the years about how the internet and technologies will develop. We typically refer to Web 1, Web 2, and Web 3, and so on when discussing the evolution of the internet. And now we're talking about the Metaverse. But for the sake of argument, disregard the definitions and examine the following scenario. Imagine being able to create your ideal alter ego in a virtual world where you have total control. You can do anything you want, own anything you want, and your options are practically limitless. A scenario like this has been presented in several science fiction films and television shows. However, it may soon become a reality because there's a lot of buzz in the business world about getting every layer, technology, and protocol ready to construct the metaverse. Today on Cryptology, we are going to dissect and explain complicated cryptocurrency topics in plain English. This episode will be all about the metaverse. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and even comment. So what exactly is the metaverse? In the metaverse, which is a highly scalable, persistent system of interconnected virtual worlds, focus on real-time interaction. People can work, socialize, transact, play, and even create. It uses powerful virtualization and technology to completely immerse the user in the virtual environment. AR, VR, haptic sensors, and so on. This implies that the user can interact with an always present world in real time, which he can access whenever he wants. Several proponents believe that the ideal future version of the metaverse would include a single platform where you could connect your persona, identity, and platform services, as well as worlds developed to which you could obtain access. As though you're on a planet with a variety of sub-worlds to explore, join, or even build. The existence of a definition for digital identity, digital ownership, digital currencies, and the universal transferability of digital assets, all of which are necessary for a fully functioning economy in a virtual environment is still crucial. Various aspects of tourism such as what it means to go to a concert, how to find art exhibitions, and most significantly how people learn, study, connect, and even meet up with friends may therefore be replaced by the metaverse. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, and other backers foresee a more interactive experience that incorporates a range of existing technology, including virtual reality headsets, mobile devices, personal computers, and cloud-connected servers. These visionaries envision a 3D virtual environment that may be accessed via a headset or augmented reality glasses. There's no agreement on whether you'll require virtual reality or augmented reality to access the metaverse, but the two go hand in hand, and as a result, these headsets will function with whatever is on your hand. This year, new virtual and mixed reality headsets are expected from Meta, Sony, Apple, and possibly others. Evolution from Web 1, Web 2, Web 3 to the Metaverse Even though there's no clear agreement, there is a lot of dispute about what Web 3 is and how it differs from the Metaverse. Many crypto enthusiasts believe that crypto is the next stage of the internet, while others believe that after the Web 2, which is built on social interaction, the immersive internet known as the Metaverse would emerge. Although it is uncertain where the boundary should be set and distinctions made, the discussion over whether Web3 is crypto and blockchain or any immersive internet with virtual worlds will continue. Examples from the Metaverse At the moment, there's no example of a large Metaverse. Various businesses, particularly game studios, claim that they've built a Metaverse. Facebook's Oculus VR headsets and Horizons Worlds can be used to visit a virtual conference room environment called Meta Horizon Worlds. It not only allows you to interact with peers in virtual conferences rooms, but also you have an avatar and you can use it, but it also lays the groundwork for future Oculus and Meta projects. Microsoft Mesh Platform Microsoft is researching mixed and augmented reality as well, XR. As a result, in 2022, they aim to add mixed reality components to Teams. In the future, avatars and holograms should be able to attend events, meetings, and possibly retail experiences and games. Roblox Roblox began as a gaming platform where users could develop their games and share them with others. Following the IPO, they're putting more effort into developing their metaverse. In collaboration with labels such as Van and Gucci, they now provide exclusive assets to purchase for your virtual self. Minecraft The Lego-like game world Minecraft is played by over 140 million individuals regularly. The company was purchased from Microsoft and it allows gamers to create their virtual worlds replete with digital assets and other features as well as design their character. Second Life 
Second Life was one of the earliest virtual realities to allow players to build their personality in a virtual world, having launched in 2003. Second Life is now growing with its marketplaces, digital assets, and more after several years of development. What impact does the metaverse have on cryptocurrency? The virtual economy necessitates money and cryptocurrency is the answer. The user will be able to trade and earn metaverse cryptocurrencies which will serve as the foundation for the creation of a new economy. The concept is that cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology work together to support some of the most powerful virtual worlds. The ability to purchase, sell, and keep goods in the metaverse market could be a game changer in this new era. This will lead to a set of conditions in which decentralized ledger technologies, such as blockchains, become more real and practicable. The possibility of economic growth will be cryptic as this is precisely building a new universe in which people can associate with, own, exchange and share economic value. The digital currency will play an essential role in the metaverse since they both work on the same principle, decentralized financial ownership and making long-term ownership of virtual goods possible. Cryptocurrencies and blockchains will become an integral part of the metaverse. The transactions will be cryptographically secure thanks to the blockchain. At the moment, gamers can create their casinos and use bitcoins to legitimize them. People will have control over their character in the metaverse as well as registered virtual lands and in-game transactions. In the metaverse economy, cryptocurrencies will be designated as legal money. The metaverse hasn't arrived yet. It could take years if not a decade before a fully working metaverse emerges. Many technical challenges remain, starting with the fact that the world lacks an internet infrastructure capable of supporting millions or possibly billions of people accessing the metaverse at the same time. An unbroken and consistent internet connection is a crucial building piece of the metaverse since a glitchy virtual world scenario is not what the metaverse is supposed to look like. 5G and edge computing are still in their infancy and they are now incapable of handling the needs of a complex infrastructure just like the metaverse. Do you need to consider withdrawing to living in the metaverse? Not yet at least, despite the idea's maturity and the current infatuation with it, in boardrooms, the technology still needs a lot of development, especially if Ball and Zuckerberg's vision of the new internet is realized. Despite the pandemic that has imprisoned so many of us to our homes, there has yet to be proof of a substantial consumer desire for a metaverse experience that isn't just a video game. Interoperability is the largest roadblock to Ball and Zuckerberg's metaverse becoming a reality. It's a concept known as standardization, and it refers to the idea of being able to carry your avatar and digital belongings from one app, game, or virtual environment to the next. Ball imagines, for example, integrating a custom Counter-Strike gun skin to Fortnite. Interoperability is critical for the metaverse to evolve into the next stage of the internet's evolution. Yet the obstacles are so large that they appear insurmountable. There are technological hurdles to overcome such as transferring an asset from one graphics engine to another and rendering it faithfully across a wide range of hardware combinations. There are also legal and commercial obstacles to overcome such as evading intellectual property rights and persuading a large number of enterprises to agree not to fence off their gardens. It's a lot more difficult than, say, settling on a standard for hypertext links. People must also be convinced that this is something they seek. The technology that allows us to access these worlds must be at least as comfortable and portable as a smartphone, or it will appear to be a step backward from the mobile internet it is designed to replace, while the science fiction attractiveness of such a virtual environment may appear evident at first glance. You have to wonder how genuine the desire to spend time there is. Metaverses are frequently depicted in fiction, from Snow Crash to The Matrix and Ready Player One as a willing or unwilling escape from dystopian realities that are too horrible to bear. I'm hoping we aren't quite there yet. According to a recent industry estimate, the metaverse market demand is expected to reach $800 billion by 2024. This might be interpreted as the metaverse's expected rapid ascent. Creating a metaverse environment will take a decade or more, and immersive gear will undoubtedly be the primary goal in making it popular. In the year 2021, Meta will have spent more than $10 billion on metaverse technology development. What do you think about metaverse's future? And also, what areas of life do you think metaverse would impact the most? Let us know what you think and what else you'd like to contribute in the comment section below. If you gained one thing or the other from this video, consider liking, subscribing, and turning on the notification bell for more information like this. I'll catch you in the next episode of Cryptocurrency Explained. Thank you so much for watching.